Welcome to the demo session on GG Password Expiration Notification Tool. It a simple tool which installs very quickly. Now the installation is over. This is the notification policy page. Let's create our first notification policy. Here, you can create policies, either for password or account expiration. I need to create a notification policy for password expiration, hence I am selecting password. Next, I must select an AD scope, to be monitored for password expiration. You can select a OU, group or an user. You can also select multiple objects. Here, I select the OU. Then, I browse to select my custom OU. By enabling this option, you can send notifications to the users in advance, whose passwords are soon to expire. You can specify any prior dates, through this option. I need to notify, only during the custom days, before their password expires. You have an option to edit the user notification email. You could view or edit the mail content in, HTML or plain text format. I removed the default content, and placed a content related to my organization. Here, I can insert my company logo for better appearance. You can insert predefined macros to, either subject, or content section. Now, I insert a macro into the subject section, and modify its appearance. This option is to notify the managers of the users, whose password are soon to expire. We identify the user manager automatically, by an AD attribute, manager in the expiring user account. You can also define a separate notification policy to issue notifications, just to the managers. Also, you can choose the notification dates and you can edit email contents. Using this option, you can send this policy summary report on password expiration to the email ID of admins. You can choose the notification dates. Use this option to edit the admin notification email. You can select various summary report format. I select the report type as PDF. Now, I add the email ID of the admin who manages this OU. He will receive the summary based on the number of days, provided here. Finally, I press save. Since notifications will be sent through email, it is essential to configure mail server settings. But, if you have an exchange server in your environment, then, this tool will not prompt for mail configuration. Instead, at the back end, it will automatically perform mail configuration. This credential will be used to run this policy through a scheduled task GG password expiration notification from Windows Task Scheduler. I provide my credential which has access to my OU. Now, we have created our first notification policy for password expiration, which you can see in this list. Similarly, you can create any number of policies by clicking Create New Notification button. These policies would be picked up by the scheduled task during the scheduled time or we can run it ad hoc from the tool. Before executing the policy, let us have a glance on the advanced settings. You can see mail server settings, which can be configured anytime from here. Here is the product settings. These conditions act as the checkpoints for filtering email notifications. So you have to enable them carefully. For example, if you enable this condition, you can command this tool to skip users who are not having valid email ID in Active Directory. Using this setting, 
you can add or remove attributes to the expiration report. We will discuss about expiration report later in this session. Using this option, you can send the overall summary report of all notification policies to the specified email IDs. Administrator's email address will be a good choice here to look after all notification policies summary report. By enabling this setting, you can customize the summary report footer. This setting ignores sending the empty summary reports on a day's run. I save the setting changes. Now, we are all set to run the notification policy. For that, you have to just click Run Now. Before I run, I check the test run property. Enabling the test run property will send the summary report only to the email IDs specified in product settings, but will not notify users. We recommend to give a test run before it has been picked up by the schedule. After executing test run, we must uncheck it. From now, you can either run it ad hoc or wait for the schedule to execute the policy. Once if the notification policy has run through schedule, you will receive notifications and summaries. Let us have a glance on email notification and summaries. Notification to the corresponding user. Notification to the manager. Policy summary report. Overall summary report. Using this option, you can change the schedule time for executing the policies in this list. By providing privileged user's credential, you can confirm the change. With this run as option, you can change the credential of the scheduled task in the task scheduler. Using this setting, you can view the summary report created on the latest run. Here, you can view the summary history. Now let's see about the additional features. Expiration report shows you the days to expire for every users under the selected scope. You can use this report to confirm the notification policy summary report. Here, you have additional options to customize the report. You can export this report in these file formats. This option is used to back up the configuration settings of notification policies so that you can easily migrate the settings to any other computer. While working with this tool, if you need clarifications, just select Help Me New and navigate to Video Demo. Then you will be redirected online to view this demo. Here, you can find the shortcuts for useful settings in this quick launch. That's all about Jeepin Tool. Thanks for watching. For queries feel free to contact us at support at ggtechnologies.com.